<laughs> and welcome to Todd's Dungeon. <laughs> Halloween isn't all about sugar and spice and everything that's nice. Sometimes you want something a little different. So join me today as I make my version of a jack-o'-lantern pie. <laughs> Okay, so to start off with, I have a fry pan on the stove on a medium to high heat. So to that, we're going to place in one chopped up onion and then our minced meats. In America, it's called ground beef. Okay, so what we're going to do now for the next few minutes, we're just going to keep on breaking this up, cooking it, turning it, just until the meat starts to turn brown. To that, we're going to add in one cup of salsa. You can use any flavored salsa that you like. Then half a cup of chili sauce. Personally, I'm going to use sweet chili sauce. Then two tablespoons of brown sugar and two teaspoons of plain all-purpose flour. And that'll help thicken up the sauce. So now we're just gonna mix it through until it's well combined. Okay, once that's all mixed through, this is up to you how much you wanna use, but I'm gonna add some black pepper and some salt. And just mix it in. And the final ingredient, our corn kernels. You can use a can or you can use the frozen ones like I've got here. So I'm just going to mix those right in. Next, I've got a 23 centimeter pie dish here. Now, you can choose whatever size you like. So just going to give it a quick grease with some cooking spray oil. And next, I have a sheet of shortcut pastry. It's going to place that onto the base. And we're just going to work it around just like so. Okay, so once it's all been worked around the edges, just get a fork and just prick it just a couple of times to help any air release from the bottom. And then we're going to place our mixture right onto the base. Okay, so I've got a bowl. Now I'm just going to crack one egg into that. And using a fork, just give it a quick beat. We're going to use some orange food coloring. So about, say, three or four drops. And we're going to whisk that through. Okay, so I have another sheet of shortcut pastry. And before we place it onto our pie, we just want to make our face. So I'm going to start with some eyes. So there we have a nice jack-o'-lantern mouth. Now you can play with the design and just do it however you like. So we're just going to place our jack-o'-lantern face just on top. And just push down on the outer edges, just so both the pastries have combined. And use a knife, we're just going to cut away the excess. And finally, we're going to use our egg wash with a brush. And we're just going to brush the top over, just like that. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to place this into the oven for about 10 minutes. Now it's going to be a preheated oven and I want you to preheat it at as hot as you can get it. So at about 450 degrees Fahrenheit or say 260 to 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, so our jack-o'-lantern pie is out of the oven and it smells delicious. And it not only smells delicious, I mean come on, look at that. So it's a relatively easy pie to make, but it's also a very, very tasty pie to make. But let's actually try some and see what it's like. Oh, that is so good. It is still very moist. And the mixture of all those flavors. Oh, there, there is only one way to describe this jack o lantern pie. And you know what that is. It tastes simply delish. Now we're going to start by making our ghoulish jack o lantern cheese faces. Now you want the orange-ish, yellowish cheese you can find. American cheese would be perfect. Here in Australia, it's a bit hard to find American cheese, so I'm just going to use the yellowish one that I can find. So we're going to start off by doing our eyes. So we're going to make two incisions. <laughs> then we're going to make uh, turn those into triangles. Just like so. So we just pop out, <laughs> pop out those eyes. Okie dokie. Next, we're going to make our mouth. 
So I'm going to make three slits. I'm going to go down one there, down one there, and we're going to make the mouth. It doesn't matter if the cheese breaks a little bit, it's only got to melt. And we can move that bit there. Then we're going to pop out the mouth. Now again, it doesn't matter if one little bit breaks off, just stick it back right onto there. Because it's all going to melt on the burger anyway. And there you have it. Now you can do as many different designs as you like, that's just an idea. So once your cheese is done, we'll get started on the meat. Now I'm not going to be too fussy on how you prepare your meat. I'm going to shove in half a kilo of some fresh minced meat. Then to that one finely chopped up onion. Then some finely chopped up parsley. And grab it hands, we're just going to work it through. As I said, you don't have to use this particular recipe for the meat. That's completely up to you. Okay, so once done, we're going to divide it into fours or six. It really depends on how many burgers you're going to do and the size of the burgers, of course. Now you can cook the meat any way you like. I'm just going to do it on the fry pan. I'm just going to give it a quick grease with some cooking spray oil. And I'm just going to put my meat on the fry pan. And just push them down just so you've got your desired shape and thickness. And it's going to cook these on both sides. Should take about say five minutes. Both sides in total. Then they'll be ready to plate up. Okay now I've toasted our buns. Now feel free to garnish them with whatever you like. These are the bottom ones mind you. I'll put some butter on there and I'm just going to add some barbecue sauce. Now remember these are cheeseburgers so if you want to add lettuce and that put them here. Trust me. Next we're going to put out our meat patties, straight off the stove. And we're just going to give them a quick season with some salt and pepper. We're going to add our cheese. And there you have it, our jack o lantern cheeseburgers. Now they look totally ghoulish. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Dungeon. A list of ingredients are down below. Okay, so to start off this healthy jack o lantern recipe, I'm gonna grab one orange and we're gonna top and bottom. So we're just gonna just take the top off of this. Then start with a knife. I'm going to slowly cut around the inside. Be very careful not to go through the skin. And we're just going to start scooping out the orange. Now just keep on going until these oranges are completely hollow. Okay, so once you've holed out your orange, I'm going to grab a knife. Now, kids, I recommend you get your parents to do this. So near the top, I'm going to slit it right through one there. Move over a bit more. We're going to do triangles for the eyes. Yeah, just pop out those eyes. Okay, next we're going to do the mouth, so you'll be really careful. Make a nice smiley face. Okay, first of all I'm going to just slit that part off. This is going to make a tooth. Knock 
こんにちはいいかなと思いますね。はい、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、Now it's just a matter of filling this up with some fruit salad. Now, I've gone the easy way, I've just brought some from the local shops, but you can also cut your, cut your own up if you like. So we're just going to get a bit of everything, and I'm just going to pack this in. Just don't do it too tightly, because then you're going to start squeezing juices out of the salads. I'm just going to have them have it hanging a bit on the top. Okay. And there you have a jack o lantern fruit salad. And there we have it our healthy, fresh jack o lantern fruit salads. I tell you what, they look simply ghoulish. And these are a lot of fun to make with kids under parental supervision, of course. And they just look fantastic. They'll make the kids want to. Have fruit salad. <laughs> They look that good. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Dungeon. Now we're going to start this off with the obvious, and that's our two slices of bread. Now I'm using standard white bread. Of course, you can use multigrain, wholemeal, it's completely up to you. So just start by just giving it a quick butter on one side of each slice. And you do want it to be a little bit thicker than. What you normally do because you are going to fry this. And next, on one of our slices, we're going to cut out our jack o lantern face. So it's easier to butter at first because that way there's less chance of ripping. It's just a lot neater and a lot easier. So butter at first, cut out the face second. Okay, next, I have a fry pan on the stove and I have it on a medium heat. So one of our slices, we're going to place it on. Butter side down. And then on top of that, one slice of cheese. Now I'm using yellow American cheese. But again, you can choose a different cheese if you like. But the yellow just looks a bit better because you are making a jack o' lantern. And then on top of that cheese, we're going to place on our cutout jack o' lantern face. And make sure it's butter side up. And we're going to let this grill on the fry pan for about, say, three minutes on that side. And after three minutes, we're going to turn it over and grill it on the other side. Okay, so it's been about three minutes, so all we have to do now is just flip it over. And again, just grill it for, say, another three minutes. And there we have it. It is that simple. Literally takes just about six, seven minutes to make. It's an easy grilled cheese sandwich, but it's a fantastic snack and design for Halloween. Yes, it's a very simple recipe that I'm sure everyone has made, but by making just a couple of adjustments with the eyes and the mouth, of course. This grilled cheese sandwich is going to taste simply ghoulish. <laughs> And let's be honest, everything on Halloween tastes better. So, thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Dungeon. Please check the links down below to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for another ghoulicious recipe. <laughs>